Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today. Our theme this week is my school. And before we get into any lessons boys and girls, we know that we have to sanitize. So let us take our sanitizer and then we wrap inside, round and round in between our fingers, on our wrists, and our fingertips too. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. For today's lesson, we will be talking about classroom objects and the memory game. Now boys and girls, we are going to start our lesson by going to page 14. On page 14, we have so many things we find in the classroom. Wow! But it's not our job to take a look at them. Instead, we are going to just circle all the dangerous objects in the classroom. So, let's discuss each one and see whether or not it is dangerous. Let's take a look at the board. So I have the same paper as you do in your book and we're going to talk about each and every object. The first thing that you can see on this side is a ruler. Now a ruler when used correctly is not dangerous. But if you decide to play with it by smacking someone, then that is very, very dangerous. So for now, we're going to say a ruler is not dangerous because we use it to make lines. Then the next thing that you can see in the middle is a pair of scissors. Now a pair of scissors, my dear boys and girls, is very dangerous, whether we're playing or not. Every time you give a pair of scissors to someone, you give them whilst you are holding one side and the safe side is to or facing them. Make sure that every time you use a pair of scissors, you put it away afterwards. It is not a toy. It can hurt someone. So you can definitely circle the pair of scissors. The next thing that we can see in on our paper is an eraser. Now eraser is not dangerous because we use it to erase or to rub out any mistakes that we have made. So this one does not need you to circle. And then we have a glue stick. Now a glue stick is very safe to use, especially if it is used properly. Remember, with a glue stick, we open it and then we twist it to use it, meaning that nothing else is happening. Then when we are done using it, we twist it down and then we close it. So I'm sure that this is not dangerous. The next thing that we can see in our booklet are crayons. Now crayons and chalk are not dangerous boys and girls, so long you use them correctly. So it's okay for you not to circle them. 
The next thing we can see underneath here is a stapler. Now, a stapler, boys and girls, is not for you to use. It is for your teacher. So, if you find a stapler in class, do not try to use it. It can be very dangerous, especially at the bottom where you see the two parts coming together. So, please, boys and girls, do not play with a stapler. You can hurt yourself very, very badly. Then, another item we can see on our page is a pen. Now, pen, boys and girls, is also for an adult. Not yet for you because you're still using colors and pencils, which is okay. But a pen is for an adult. So, even though it's not dangerous, it's not for you to use as well. The rest of the items that are on your page, it's up to you to figure out whether they are dangerous or not. Please talk to an adult or your teacher so that you can find out together what is dangerous and what is not dangerous. After you're done with that and you have circled all the dangerous objects, it's time for you now to go to the next page, page 15. On page 15, we are going to play a very short and nice game. Yay! Now with this game, we can have the first thing is cards. So we need to make cards with the items that you can see. So by doing so, that means we're going to cut out the pictures. After that, we're going to take them and place them upside down, which means the picture is facing down on the table. Then, when you are done with that, you're going to turn them around and shuffle them so that you will not know which picture is where. Once you're done with that, you'll pick up one picture and then try and find its partner on the table. So, I've already cut mine out using my pair of scissors, which by the way, can be very dangerous. So, since I am done, I'm going to put it away. And now I have my cards. They are all facing upside down. I don't know which one is which. So, once you're done cutting, you place your cards down on the table, facing down, and then you mix them you mix them and then when you're done mixing them you are going to pick one card so i'm going to pick up this one and then my job after that is to see if i can't find the matching picture so this picture is a picture of the globe i wonder now will i be able to find the globe Hmm, I'm going to pick this one and see if it is the matching picture. Oh no, it's not the one. So I have to put both pictures down again and then I shuffle, 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 shuffle. And now I'm ready again. So I need to pick up a picture. I'm going to pick this one up. Oh, this one looks like it's a paint set with a brush and the colors for the paint. I wonder, will I be able to find its matching picture? Let me try. <gasps> yes, I did. I found the magazine picture. Well done, teacher. So I put them back down and I shuffle them and shuffle them and I can do this all the day long but make sure boys and girls you are not cheating shuffle properly and try all the time if you don't get it right the first time that's okay keep on shuffling and keep on looking for the matching picture have fun with the game have fun also looking for the dangerous objects and remember to stay far away from them i'll see you soon after the advert break Follow us on My Zone Facebook, Active Kids, to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. My dear friends, we have now come to the end of our lesson. I hope you had fun. I know I did. But remember, 
If you're not sure what to do or you're still confused, that's okay. You can always ask an adult for help, but just make sure you finish your work by yourself. So now that we are done with our lesson, we know that we have to sanitize. Remember, if you don't have sanitizer, you can use soap and water. And when you rub the soap, you can rub inside, around your hands, in between your fingers, on your wrists, and on your fingertips too. Make sure you wash your hands and dry them before you touch anything else. I wonder, Sashi was supposed to meet me later by the jungle gym, but I think he wants to come and pick me up. Sashi, I'm done. Let's go and play. Sashi, Sashi, let's go and play by the swings, please. Oh, <laughs> there he is. Hello, Sashi. Are you ready for the swings? I am too, but first we have to say goodbye to our special friends. Let's sing our special goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. Bye! Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF, MyZone Online School, Amos Mirket Syllabus and Capricorn Foundation.